Hey, how's it going? I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today in Anime Reaction, we're going to be watching the 10th episode of Pop Team Epic. So, more mean fuckery. Three, two, one. Let's, let's jam. jam. That's all I've got to say about that. Interesting. Whoa! The, the additions for Kiss are that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Self-deprecation. Ooh. <laughs> Palco about to whoop that ass. So our uh, semi-reliable source has told us to watch all the way to the end of the second opening. Hmm. But after that, there's really nothing worth watching a second time. So that's hmm. just what we shall do today. I keep expecting things to change in the opening, just I don't I don't know why. Well the the them transforming into things change there. A little bit. And also I, I, I thanks to one of the comments that we've left or thanks to a comment left in last week's episode. I wish I had that ability. Snacks. Force pulling toward me. A son to Godhead? Fuck! Wrecked. She gave him a finger. It was the best finger. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she gave him the finger. It was the best finger ever. It was, was like a rocket. It was like a transformation to a desert landscape. But apparently, apparently, the comment that was left last uh, last week—that's <laughs> not Popco's not there. Well, um, she got transformed into the landscape. Remember? Food porn, really? That's a nice marbled piece of meat. Both. Wait. Oh no. Oh, that poor co-host. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a hand fell? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucked up. Nice. <laughs> Two, three. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, that's some straight up Looney Tune shit right there. Nice. Yeah. 
Ow. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh, God damn it. No fan service for you. Why do I feel Phoenix Wright references coming on? <laughs> well, they are hostesses. <laughs> you ever poke someone in the cheek so forcefully it poked four people at once? Very weird. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hypnosis. He's dropping ants. What? Totally got it. Why? Oh my god, that hair. Damn. Turn up. <laughs> 25th anniversary, huh? And what does that have to do with the investigation? Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> and now they're on a cliff. Uh, it always ends on a cliff. Always.
Not gonna lie, um, if they made that into a proper series, would consider watching it. <laughs> oh, that weird as <clears throat> fuck. Hmm. It's on the credit sequence, even. Also, who eats Dongo like this? Who walks around with a sword like that, too? Right. I've seen that before. What do you do with your Dongo? Just drag it through the grass? <laughs> Not eat it while I'm walking? <laughs> It is true, those skewers can be dangerous. Trip, fall, boom, there goes an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Even the disclaimer. Oh, wow. What the? No way. That's it? Damn. That's apparently it. Mm. Alright, we've been told to watch all the way to the end of the second opening. <laughs> wow, Popco appears. Okay. Blown out speaker. <laughs> That's a first. I like it. <laughs> hmm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Sound effects and everything. There you go. Vacuum. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> this should be a, this should be an every episode thing. <laughs> I like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big baguette crashing. Dang. Imagine what like all the separate sound files in the editing program must have looked like. All lined up and shit. And the, <laughs> the blown out speakers on the old television. Nice. Very nice touch. I like that. I like that. They should do that more often. Mm. Yeah, they, they definitely should do that more often. Well, we're going to do a one-off gag. I'm surprised they didn't do something like that for like the final episode. Right? So oh, this one was, um, mm. this episode was very, uh, quick. I yeah, just focus on the one, uh, <laughs> detective, or hostess detective skit. Also, so, the thing that I was trying to say, <laughs> the thing that I was trying to say was, Sorry, uh... Just, it, just yanked on my, uh, no. headphone cable by accident. There was a sure comment... Mm. On uh, last ep last week's episode <coughs> of Pop Team Epic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was talking about how the uh, the two different parts, or maybe not, what maybe was uh, last week. Um, there's the, the two different parts are aired are actually aired quite a bit ways apart. Oh. And when during the actual airing, it's not aired one right after the other, like we watch it. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. 
Okay. So There's actually the gap like hours or. Um, I didn't. I don't remember Maybe. actually. Hmm. Seeing a time frame. Just that they were aired apart. Uh, I think that. I think that. That is interesting and would make it much more enjoyable. <laughs> right. Yeah, limited I, exposure to this is but Yeah, I just best. I don't particularly care <clears throat> for um for watching both parts just back to back personally. Right. <clears throat> so Yeah, I thought that um what that castle closing that uh eye catch in the Detective Skid, I thought that was a captain or I'm thinking Captain Tsubasa's because I'm watching the fucking soccer skit. But I was going to say Detective Conan, so I was going to say Captain Conan. Can you imagine that crossover? But yeah, I thought that was a Detective Conan reference. I just don't want to call it out because I wasn't sure. Yeah, I kind of felt like they were just referencing like Japanese uh, crime dramas like that. Yeah. Especially with the cliff scene because they always end on a cliff. Usually with the with the you know person the uh, killer with their back to the cliff, so they you know because they can't run away or whatever. Mm. Which is not how it went down. No, but that that is basically the way that they always end. Is yeah, on a cliff, on a seaside cliff. Just yeah. Second Bob Team Epic was actually funny. Ichiro Suzuki. I, uh, I actually thought both of the Bob Team Epic skits were kind of amusing this time. The first one was definitely what the fuck, but... Hmm. Yeah. Well, they all are what the fuck. Yeah. But that's damn, true. that's... Yeah. Uh, that second one was straight, like I said, Looney Tunes stuff. Yeah, the second one was was amusing, too. Uh, no, uh, the, uh, the scene in the family restaurant. Yeah. With the traps... Very classic. Yeah. You want to set a trap. You want to catch a. You want to catch a character, and then you set it off yourself. Here we go. I found the comment. It's uh, Peluix two. Mm. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, what these guys don't seem to get: so the series two halves aren't broadcast together to make twenty minutes. The, si the series is transmitted as a ten-minute anime. They just broadcast one half, and that, and the other half other one later mm. okay so yeah he didn't give any specifics like how far apart they actually are but, yeah. but i'd imagine time slots i would imagine they'd be like an hour or two apart so i mean mm. or who knows opposite ends of the broadcast day also having having a shitty waiter waiter like that um oh, i wish i could set a bear trap Maybe we should buy one and start carrying it around. Somehow I feel that that would not end well. Mm. J just a thought. <laughs> anyway, so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our action in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in joining our Discord, look for it in the description below. We need to make a mini one, yeah fit into like a tip jar or something. That's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.